America's Next Top Model is an internationally known reality show that takes aspiring models and gives them a chance to compete for a contract. It's been on the air for over a decade and was started by Tyra Banks. But this year, we're seeing something or someone different. This isn't just any catwalk. This is the start of cycle 22 for America's Next Top Model. You might recognize one man, Niall DeMarco. He's the first deaf model to ever compete on ANTM. Always, of course I'm his biggest fan. Niall is not allowed to contact anyone outside of the competition until more decisions are made. So we sat down with his biggest fan and longest friend. Of course I'm thrilled for his career. I really want it to take off. Phyllis mentioned that he stood out for three reasons. Everyone's always fascinated with his eyes. Niall does have good eyes. Also, his body. He really does have to work at it though, and he puts a lot of work into it, so there's the proof. And the third thing, of course, like he mentioned, is that deaf culture is really ingrained in him. In Niall's audition tape, he said ASL would be a major benefit in the competition. As you can see, my language requires facial expression and body language. So the modeling photos will guarantee to tell a story. We also sat down with his twin brother, Nico, to get a closer look at what's been happening. Of course, I think this is so cool. It's amazing that he can show what deaf people can do and that really we don't have a glass ceiling whatsoever. Nico says that this hasn't been Niall's lifelong passion, but that once he realized he could do it, it's taken him far. People kept bugging him about keeping up with modeling and doing it more, but he didn't care too much about it and always shrugged it off. After trying it a bit, it got to the point where he realized he was actually good at it. There is no guarantee that Niall will make it to a certain point. However, Cycle 22 is expected to air around August. For now, just getting into the competition has been inspiration. Deaf people tend to have the opportunity because there's a deaf role. And it's not usually just because they're people who, who they're looking for in general. 